Hi everybody, welcome to the Turnpike. I'm Tim Von Holton, your host. I'm sitting here at the Jackpot Saloon, where later we're going to be here with someone still loves you, Boris Yeltsin. To Russia with love. Hi everybody, I'm here with Will and Phil from Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin. We're going to talk about that name. That's a terrible name. Do you think? Yeah, you li- but you know, you like it. Uh-huh. Still, who, th- who came up with that name? Phil. Yeah. Tell me, what's that about? Well, we came up with it right after Boris Yeltsin resigned and we felt kind of sorry for him. He had a lot of problems. I mean, he was an alcoholic, he was a pretty bad president, so... I mean, Good head the of thing hair. is, true. Didn't have the thing. I mean, if we would have known, someone in 2009 would have told us we just came up with a terrible band name back then. You know, maybe we would have done something about it. Especially if it was me, Did. someone that wields yeah. such such power in the industry. Yeah. So you just weren't really planning ahead. I don't know. I still kind of like it. it I kind of not... like it when it makes someone mad because it's like. Really, that's what controversial. Yeah, is See, that what really is that what does it bother you that much? No, not a okay, bit. Cool. <laughs> and you're and you're nice fellas. You you put out great music. Um, Pershing is the new record. Yeah, brand new, right? Is it even out yet? Um, it came uh, out last April. Yeah, nine what? months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been misled. Can we just start over, Kevin? Sure. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm here with Will and Phil from Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin. A name that I happen to love. <laughs> oh, great. We like great. it too. Yeah, Good.
Lots more from Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin, coming up on the Turnpike. We're the Fresh Maker. Let's start right at the bottom. You guys put out Broom by yourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Home recorded, mm -hmm. home mixed, everything, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And then no label, no nothing. Right. You put it up on your website? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Spin calls you guys, you know, an internet, internet phenoms. Yeah, you think yeah. that's fair? Um, yeah, I think it's fair. <laughs> It's yeah. definitely fair because, I mean, everything's changing and so you have to kind of follow the technology that's moving and things just happen differently. And so, yeah, and know. at the time we were like the Sign Them Now bands, we didn't have a record label, so yeah. Things did you think, changed. I mean, did you, in your wildest dreams, you're, make, you're, you're recording this in your attic and your basement. Yeah. We can talk about that. I want to talk about home recording tips for uh, yeah. you know up and comers. But. I just remember the first day, the first time we started tracking something. Me and Will and our friend Tom, we were we did it all afternoon, and then at mm. night we got we all were together like listening to it, and like we said, "Do you think people like this?" You know, mm. that was the conversation, yeah. and we said we said yes because it sounds like it's really old. Yeah, it so old. <laughs> that that I think that was our recording. Uh, the thing we were going for with the sound was to make it sound old. We thought we did it because we had like old amps and old guitars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We yeah, we just wanted to make something more classy than like than what we you know what we were hearing. Like there there are probably only a handful of bands that we really follow now, and most of them are bands we've like toured with and stuff. So yeah, for some reason, like even though there's so much music out there, there's it's still I think we're motivated by write you know like writing these songs that we we really don't find and it wasn't even like well the general audience like these songs it was like well our friends like these songs and so we were thinking more about like people we knew who would like them and yeah somehow yeah. it just transcended to like a, a bigger audience than we expected yeah
Stick around for more from Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin. How did the Russia trip come about? After did they contact after us? After Yeltsin's yeah, they death. Called, it was weird. They actually called us before he died and uh, said they wanted us to play there. Who's they? Uh, a guy in Russia. The Kremlin. <laughs> yeah, they have Kremlin called. And I didn't, I mean, you hear about these things on the internet. Like someone calls you and wants you to meet them. The Nigerian in another country, prince. Like, exactly, you're like, okay. So I just sent it to someone else and it turns out it was a real festival. Um, actually like the biggest music festival in Russia. And uh, yeah, it, the, I said, to, I mean, I said, well, we know we're, you know, so happy we need them band after Boris Yeltsin because we get to do this. And he's like, no, no, we really like the music. Come on. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to. So, uh, yeah, it was incredible. We got to, one really good thing is our friend Tom, who played bass on Broom, um, he hadn't done much touring. He went to art school right after Broom came out, so he hadn't done much okay. touring with us. So we got him to go with us, and we took another friend. And, I mean, it was a little adventure in Russia, like a police yeah. academy or something. How long did I mean, you get to stay? Uh, two, night, two nights, three days, Yeah. I think. So it was like, it was really fast whirlwind, but we did get to, to some like techno clubs. We went to see to the mausoleum to see Lennon's body preserved. It was yeah. like a haunted house. It was so wow. crazy. I've had like nightmares got, about it. I got in big trouble for having my hands in my pocket, and a guard with like a big gun told me I, it was disrespectful. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. I take it really seriously. I remember yeah. his mustache looked so real. I can't get the image out of my head. Lennon's. Like oh, Lennon's so he's mustache. like yeah, his he's body, in like a glass case. It's kind like of thing? Uh, it's his body, Sleeping yeah. Beauty. It's like Sleeping Beauty, like in a glass case, and he's just it, he's just laying there. It looks like he could open his eyes. Yeah. How do they do that? Secret Russian uh, yeah. formula. It's a conspiracy. Wow. Yeah. Preservation. Yeah, they, clo no I, they close it every three days to work on them. The only thing that makes it seem like he's really dead are his fingernails. Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so. There. There's more coming up from Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin. Stay right where you are. So tips for kind of home recorders. I mean, what do you guys, what special preparations do you do? Do you just walk in and set up the drums in a corner and... Go. That's how that's how yeah. Will and I like to do it. Yeah. yeah, we like to get like really natural sounds. So our I think our goal is always that it sounds what it's like, you know, in the room. Like you're in the room with yeah, us. Yeah, you know what it'd be like to be in that room. 
Yeah, and uh, it's more like you're really providing like a soundtrack to what you're really imagining and like well, what's in the room. You but know? you've been lucky as far as I mean, there's no like wicked tinny bounce going on from mm-hmm. True. concrete walls or. That's anything that's what we have you... Jonathan, the engineer guy, for because he, because like there there are a lot of things I know like sometimes like frequencies like cancel each other out like we don't know that stuff. Jonathan uh-huh. knows that, so we basically we say. Oh my God! What we should do is like go straight in and put a like a microphone up there, and he's like, "Oh God!" You know, so it's, <laughs> it's back and forth. Like we almost—I don't think we really argue with him about it, but sometimes he'll finally go like go along with our idea, and sometimes we'll do his idea. You know. How long did it take to record Pershing? I just I guess a few months. Yeah, maybe three safe. months, three or four months. Three or four months. Yeah. yeah. And whose so, house was it in this time? It was uh, a house on my um, aunt and uncle's property. It's, it's called the Carriage House. It's a long time ago. Maybe like not too long ago, but it used to be um, like a stable, like an old carriage house for horses. And um, then my grandma moved in there, and it was kind of fixed up a little bit. It's really nice. It has um, that back of Pershing is actually a picture looking down from the balcony into a, sort of like a greenhouse looking room with brick floor and plants and really tall glass windows. And then the rest of the house just felt really old and wooden feel and did you guys stay there so, while you were uh no we all lived pretty close to there so we would just okay. go over there every yeah. day yeah well and was, i would like we would ride bikes yeah. there every day it was really casual so. and are you guys all still in springfield mm-hmm. yeah
Thanks for joining us this week on The Turnpike with Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin. Find out more about the band at their website, email us at theturnpike at freestatestudios.com, and look at our full episode archive at lawrence.com slash turnpike. Help us out. We want to be an internet phenomenon, too. Sure.